Great.
Do you have any more of these? Nope. Yours are short, video. It was only 14 minutes. But he didn't make it You're watching TV and the TV is just sitting me on. It can help. Jake, we look alike, but I want to copy your Instagram photos. He saw 
when I did it with Erica, he was like, using Jake Paul. He was Jake Paul, right? Are you sure about that? Can you give a little bit more enthusiasm? Oh, God. Did you? He's Jake Paul, right? Yeah. I saw the video when I did it with Erica, and I copied Erica's Instagram photos. Uh, things got weird. Oh, okay. oh, yes, honey. Yes, yes. <laughs> you look fabulous, honey. Well, we thought it'd be a good idea. He's going to be copying the classic uh, tool photo, you know, like the, you got the official name for it? He's going to be copying my Marcella outfit. Okay, I don't know if you guys remember Marcella, 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 Marcella. but he's going to be having to copy this one. Uh, that's a vibe. And last but not least, the typical Gangsta. You know what I'm saying? Titus, can we get a little preview of your gangsta pose? Just copy this here. All right, we're going to work on it. We're going to work on it. <laughs> and it's me, Fabio. No, Jay. You're doing this all wrong, sweetheart. Yes. No, Fab Fabio. He's four years old. You have to work with him. I'm the poser. Okay. I'm Fabio. Nice. Nice. Okay. You too. Can you say, it's me. Fabio, that'll help you get in the character. My name speaks for itself. Say, it's me, Fabio. It's me, Fabio. There you go. Say, I'm a tiger. I'm a tiger. I'm you're, you're scaring a man. I'm a tiger. not a tiger. Okay, we're going to have to work on this. Okay. Fabio, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You guys got this. You can do the video by yourself. Fabio, out. See you later, Fabio. Bye. Oh my God. I'm sorry about him. Uh, Titus, don't just erase that from your memory, okay? Yeah, Fabio. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Ooh. Are you copying me? I copied you. I think you're copying me. You're just saying whatever I'm saying. I'm not trying to have you copy me. Super Cal Friends will listen to XP Alidocious. Knew that one would get him. <laughs> Alright, buddy. You're looking really cute. Are you ready for this? Okay, I think you can do it. You're not a pimp, but yeah, sure. We gotta go to the same spot where we took that photo, all right? You dress like me. <laughs> You're gonna get all the way to this man. Oh, I got you, buddy, okay? Good job, buddy. Oh, yeah, work it. Yo, it's really gonna be an exact match. I can't wait to show you guys the fix at the end. Wait, what? Fabio! Yeah! You're in line. Wait, oh my God. what? Fabio! Oh, get it. <laughs> Next 
found in my life that with physical tiredness, you actually, you actually can push through that if you're not emotionally warm, tired, sad, or depressed. If you have goals you're going toward and you're pushing towards them, I think the hardest type of tiredness is this emotional tiredness where you, you don't have oh, shit. these things that you're just pushing towards and fighting for and loving Got a headache. We all have a reason for being in this business. There's a core. Tiger Woods. My name is Mark, uh, and over the last few weeks, we have been doing a little something with monarch caterpillars and butterflies. Uh, so about three weeks ago-ish, uh, we had a woman that came out uh, visiting the farm, and she was an uh, amateur photographer. Uh, she's actually done some work on some documentaries, and she wrote a book on the Manitoba Guide to Butterflies. Uh, so she was out here at our milkweed, and she was taking pictures, and she was looking around, and she noticed little things like this here. So you can see this is chewed up, and the monarch uh, is the only one that lays eggs on the milkweed. So it's kind of a protective. Um, other species don't like it, so it's all... Uh, monarch butterfly territory. Here's a seed pod here. So we're going to harvest these seed pods and we're going to plant them in another area where we're doing uh, Manitoba wildflowers and wild plants. Uh, so I don't see anything here now, but we were instructed by her to take and harvest the caterpillars. And we've done that. We've been checking every once in a while in here uh, to see if we can find them. And we want to take them into the house. And the reason why we want to take them in uh, and get them inside, protected from outside, is because apparently hornets or wasps will actually lay their eggs inside of a monarch caterpillar and, of course, kill it. Uh, so we wanted to uh, take them in. We wanted to film the whole experience. So I did do a time lapse on the caterpillar turning into a uh, pupa, turning into um, a chrysalis and then hatching from the chrysalis. 
and it's quite uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, at the end, when the butterfly is coming out, you can see the abdomen is, is huge, and of course the wings are these tiny little wings. And what happens is the butterfly actually pumps that fluid into the wings and inflating them, and it takes about 20 minutes for that to happen. So before we go to that, I just want to show you the area here. This area has just been untouched for, well, the house is now, I guess, 10 years old. And we've been throwing together different ideas on what we should do with this area. So the leftover rock from the pond we threw in here, we'll level this out. And what we're going to do, you can see a lot of, well, weeds, but those are uh, wildflowers. A lot of them are wildflowers. So we're going to get, uh, I don't know if you've seen uh, where you're at, but uh, the honeybee. So there is a little batch of, or a little packet of seeds, of wildflowers that you can actually plant uh, to help sustain the bee population. Uh, we're going to get some of those wildflowers, we're going to plant them in here. We're also going to take those seed pods from the milkweed and we're going to put them in this area here. And this will be the new home for that. And of course, we'll finish up the lattice work <laughs> across the front that uh, didn't get done. So we will cut to that time lapse right now. terrarium setup that we have so it's just a fish tank and it has a, uh, a screen on top if you look right here there is another one and that one is just no, it's not focusing in but it's just attaching to the screen and just coming through it's uh, starting to go through its change there's a little guy right back there and of course the monarch uh, butterfly is right over there that we're going to release soon. And there's actually two more. And there's another one here. Oh, yeah, there. Uh, yeah, right there. So, yeah, so these guys here are just little ones. So, we're going to be watching them. So, Tiana, if you want to grab that monarch, you're paying attention not to disturb the one on the screen. And we will take. it doesn't fly into the house. There you go. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll put the screen back on. <laughs> it just, it wants to go. Okay, here he's back behind. So here, slide this out a little bit. 
Did you get one of your push your chip fins? Yeah, just one of them. They got a feed of meat and soup. Yeah, soup. Yeah. Soup. 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 Soup.